Dear students, welcome to this session on methodology of teaching English. Today, we shall focus on the topic oral approach to language learning. There are different steps in the oral approach of language learning. The first one is the presentation of new learning material and the practice of the same. Secondly, you have introducing vocabulary and sentence patterns. Then, repetition, followed by that, individual practice and chorus. And finally, different kinds of drills. Illustration of oral situations or the demonstration of real verbal situations facilitates understanding. The structures of a language should be taught orally. Oral presentation helps in making clear the meaning of various language structures. In oral presentation or verbal presentation, the teacher can speak clearly and audibly using correct stress and correct intonation so that the structure of various uh, sentences can be understood clearly. Meaning of sentences can be explained in mother tongue if required. And further practice establishes the structures firmly in the learner's mind. There are different kinds of drills which teachers do in a classroom to ensure that the children have learned a new language material. The first one is oral drill. You might remember all those drills that you have done in your LKG, UKG classes. So giving practice to people in making use of the new patterns habitual. This is what an oral drill intends to do. Practice it many a time so that the newly learned pattern becomes a habit. This is highly important at the early stage. The various types of drills include repetition drills, substitution drills, concord drills, chain drills, completion drills, addition drills, conversational or transformational drills and question answer drills. Repetition drills this should be the first drill while teaching a structure. The teacher has to give this repetition drill in a chorus. Learners repeat a sentence spoken by the teacher. And we must be careful about correct stress, pronunciation and intonation. When new structures are thus introduced, these should be contrasted with the structures that the learner has already learned. For example, take this is a pen. These are pens. So that when the teacher is teaching the new structure, these are pens. She has to derive a contrast between these are pens and this is a pen. This is a pen is something that they have already learned. So this is what you mean by repetition drill. It's given in a chorus and one has to be careful about the stress, pronunciation, intonation and so on. And then it has to be contrasted with the material that the learner has already learned. Substitution drills. Learners are given a pattern in this kind of a drill. They must substitute the words in the given pattern with different other words. We call them cues. So the words used by the teacher will enable the learner to frame new sentences and we call these words cues. For example, take the sentence, my book is red. I have underlined the word red. It's the name of a color. So here you can replace this red using yellow or green. So the words that a speaker uses to substitute 
the word red so we call yellow and green as keywords and um, using pictures also you can do substitution drills take the sentence do you see a train by showing the picture of a train the teacher can ask such a question do you see a train here i have underlined the word train and the learner can substitute train with any other object um like do you see a pen do you see a table and so on so pen and table are all keywords concord drills while applying substitution words in the sentence pattern must be changed it's useful for drilling plurals verb forms etc for example take the sentence i am walking are you walking is she walking they are walking so see how we have substituted am are you is she they are chain drills in chain drill the teacher asks a question and the learner replies then the question is passed on from the first learner to another learner while doing so the learner has to change the situation for example the teacher might show a book to the first student and ask what is this then that first student should ask the same question by showing another object to the second student sitting next to him what is this by showing a pen then again this question shall be passed from one learner to another by changing the situation so the third person shall reply and then ask the same question what is this by showing a sharpener so this is an example of chain drill completion drills the teacher supplies a model sentence in addition to that she gives one or two words of another sentence as well for example i am playing today you played yesterday he played last week he is playing now i will play tomorrow so the basic sentence that the teacher gave the model sentence is i am playing today and then see the other words which she gave the students through other sentences so using these words they can um, do completion exercises so this is what i mean by completion drills addition drills the teacher puts sentences together from smaller parts example i bought two houses see the other parts given below two stone houses two white stone houses two beautiful white stone houses so by adding all these small parts the teacher can make up a big sentence so this is what you mean by addition drills conversational drills or transformational drills this is useful in teaching negatives passives direct and indirect speech etc an example he said mohan is ill he said that mohan was ill so in order to teach negative forms of sentences passive voice direct and indirect speech etc these type of drills can be used how sentences are transformed from one uh, state to another question answer drills in this type of drill the teacher would ask questions to the learners group the students should answer them using the desired patterns new words can be taught by showing objects pictures matchstick figures or by performing actions word building synonyms antonyms etc
so today we have dealt with the topic oral approach to language learning and teaching and we came across different types of drills that a teacher can use in a classroom to ensure learning thank you